Oh, it's recording. Okay. Hey guys, Hybrid here. Um, another kind of debate. This one though, it's not Superman, Superman related, so all, everybody can relax. I know a lot of people got really um, not emotional, but they got really offended by the last one, Superman versus Goku. Uh, so you know, trying to calm down people before I do another one like that. Like let's say Batman vs Superman or something like Batman vs Green Arrow or something like that that people get really up in arms about. I thought I'd do one that's relatively calm yet relevant and that's in humans versus mutants. Now if you don't know, uh, mutants for the longest time have been the kind of symbol of persecution Marvel has used. You know, instead of you know racism with black people or Asians, stuff like that, they use mutants. Uh, discrimination against mutants. But recently, and a lot of it has to do with the rumored movie stuff going on is gone from mutant focus to slowly it's showing inhumans being that focus. Uh, very interesting because there's rumors that since Marvel Studios cannot use the X-Men or mutants, Fox can, it has the rights to that, they're just going to use inhumans. Now I'm going to break down for you the difference between the two because it's not that much. So in the Marvel Universe a long long time ago uh, these nearly godlike, or they're practically gods, but they're called the Celestials. They came to Earth and they did some genetic testing on humans, uh, early humans, so not humans as we have today. Now, because of that genetic, you know, testing experimentation they did, it gave the ability later on for the X gene, you know, the mutant gene that gives mutants. Now, the inhumans, on the other hand, are actually essentially they are a see in math terms they're a deviation a subgroup technically they are of mutants because basically the Cree came and they, they spliced the DNA of the humans um, you have the ability of getting powers of the X gene due to celestials they took a bunch of humans got um, not celestial DNA they got eternal DNA. Eternals is a different race um, in the Marvel Universe. They got their DNA, put it together, kind of shoveled it, and there you go, Inhumans. Now, technically, with that being said, human, Inhumans are a sister race to the mutants. Uh, they've actually interacted quite a bit, especially with Quicksilver, which is why it's very interesting to see if they do Quicksilver as an Inhuman in Avengers 2, and they just, you know, throw away the whole mutant stuff. That's entirely possible because of all the mutants, Quicksilver has the closest history to the Terrigen Mist because he had a relationship with an inhuman. Um, also, with that being said though, the Terrigen Mist can be used on inhumans and also mutants. If it's used on mutants though, it enhances the abilities, abilities they have temporarily, but usually it drives them crazy. For the inhumans, it unlocks you know their genetic potential for abilities now with that being said though without the mist the inhumans are superior to humans uh, they have enhanced physical abilities like strength speed durability reflexes and endurance etc etc so that's the kind of plus side they have there is that without the mist they're still better than people but they're not like outright you know they're not like mutants is they're not because they're born with it but they're not born with the powers per se until they get the mist. Um, so I'm guessing that's how they're gonna, you know, go about, you know, why people like Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch aren't, you know, being persecuted in the public because Inhumans are much. It's much easier. It's easier for them to disguise themselves. Now, if a bunch of Inhumans were to get into a fight with a bunch of mutants, the Inhumans would win. That and the reason, well, actually. See, before I say that, I just want to say it could go both sides depending on the powers of the mutants and the powers of the Inhumans. But baseline, the Inhumans should win just due to the fact that they already have that natural advantage, and then they have the you know the mist to just you know give them you know whatever powers they have. Like you have people like Black Bolt, you know that guy can take out I'd say seventy percent of the mutants on Earth by himself. As you know, just if you were to talk. At the same level I'm talking, he'd probably be destroying, you know, cities, continents, even maybe, maybe I'm pushing it a little bit, but basically what I'm saying here is uh, I don't want this, this isn't a battle uh, kind of debate here. Uh, what I'm 
trying to get to is like which one are they going to use in the movies? Um, obviously, Fox is going to use the mutants, but I think mutants and, and comics too. I'm also going to talk. I want to talk about that. I think Marvel's going to be pushing the mutants back and pushing forward the Inhumans. Now we're going to see that really a lot with the Inhumanity event coming up and the new Inhuman books. I think there's two or three new Inhuman books coming out. Excuse me. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I'm kind of mixed on it because I feel like they're doing it for the movie. I feel like they're introducing and they're really pushing the Inhumans again just so when Quicksilver Scarlet Witch come, they're going to be like, they're Inhumans. And I feel like they're not going to say they're Inhumans in the film. They're going to reference the Mist, which is, you know, for everybody that knows about the Terry Mist, they're going to be like, oh, wow, they're Inhumans. So... I want to know what you guys think, honestly. I want to talk to you guys about it. Comment below. How do you feel? How do you feel about the mutants getting really kind of pushed away in favor of the Inhumans? How do you feel about the Inhumans rising up uh, and kind of, you know, becoming a much more prominent race in the Marvel Universe? How do you feel about the fact that, you know, pretty much because of Fox, you're, you know, soon we're going to have our own group of X-Men that are just Inhumans, and they're probably not going to be called X-Men. I'm, I'm just using that as an example. But, you know, who knows what they're going to be called. They can be called the Cave Dwellers. I don't know. But, you know, how do you guys feel about that? Because I know a lot of people love the concept of mutants. And the same concept goes, essentially, for the Inhumans. It can be applied to them, which is why Marvel is probably thinking, hey, we could just easily, you know, swap these guys out. So, yeah, honestly, the way I feel about it, technically, since the Inhumans are born with that genetic, um, that the gene, essentially, I guess you call it that special gene, they're technically mutants, so, you know, you're not really losing that much. It's, just, it's like not being able to use humans, per se. Like, let's say, um, let's say you have a movie and you have different characters of different races. It's basically like not being able to use white people and not being able to use black people, but being able to use people like me who are mixed. Uh, that's kind of how the Inhumans are. The Inhumans are, you know that kind of gray line because they are technically mutants but they're not called mutants because of you know that slight difference with the mist and stuff like that so comment below your guys thoughts I want to read your thoughts I want to comment back um be passionate about it I don't care I'm not gonna be mad at anybody unless you're directly insulting much people oh sorry someone's calling me but yeah uh, I'm gonna go now this is hybrid comment below like I said like the fifth time in a row and I'll see you guys with another one. Comment below with what you want me to talk about. Um, and I'll try talking about it. So, see ya.